when you have a panic attack at night, you typically wake up with your heart racing, you're breathing rapidly and your mind is filled with a sense of anxiety and dread. Of course this can be terribly disconcerting because you you may have an idea, no idea what triggered those symptoms, but um, someone has a panic attack during the day, they often know at least roughly what sort of kind of thoughts or situations triggered that anxiety. But when it wakes you up from sleep, it's as if it came from nowhere, isn't it? You may have found it takes some time for the panic attack to subside, and it's not easy to get back to sleep immediately because your body's filled with all that adrenaline and you're feeling all wide awake. This disruption to your sleep can leave you feeling exhausted if it persists over time, and some people begin to dread going to bed because they start to associate sleep with waking up in a panic. So those night panic attacks can have physical causes, and it's advisable to consult your GP to check whether there's a physical condition that may be triggering it. But night panic attacks can also have that very psychological cause as well. And I've worked with many clients whose nighttime panic attacks began after a major life change that's been made redundant, going through a divorce or experiencing a very traumatic event like being in a car accident. Sometimes panic attacks can be triggered when you've been chronically worrying about something for a period of weeks or months and those worries and anxieties began to manifest themselves as a nighttime panic. So this session is going to guide your unconscious mind to let go of any unhelpful thoughts, feelings or memories that may have been triggering symptoms. So you can instinctively connect the feelings of safety and rest to the experience of being asleep. Find that you're beginning to sleep more peacefully through the night. Before we're going to start this session, I'd like you to bear in mind that the term panic attack isn't actually a very helpful way of talking about what happens. See, we don't actually get attacked by a thing called panic. A panic attack is simply the body preparing for action because it thinks that there's something that urgently needs taking care of. All the symptoms of a panic attack, the rapid breathing, increased heart rate, the adrenaline, all the jittery energy coursing through your body, simply your body preparing for that immediate physical action. In other words, for exercise. It's the exact same primal response that our ancestors experienced thousands of years ago when they're running through the forests, hunting for prey and avoiding predators. So a panic attack is simply your body preparing for exercise. It only feels like a problem because it's happening at the wrong time. You don't need that primal exercise response when you're safe in bed at night. And of course, it feels disconcerting when it happens. So, from now on, I'll simply call panic attacks the inappropriate exercise response. Because that's a more accurate and more helpful way to think of them. So now, if you haven't yet closed those eyes, you can do that now. As you prepare to relax very deeply. And I'd like you to just take a few moments to just tune into the rhythm of your breathing. To notice the rise and fall of your chest and your stomach. As you breathe in. And out. That's it. How the air sometimes feels a little cooler in the nose when you breathe in. And a little warmer when you breathe out. And you might like to allow the out breath to become a little longer and smoother. So that each time you breathe out. It begins to feel more and more like a deep, slow sigh of comfort. 
where you smoothly exhale completely. And then allow the in-breath to happen all by itself, lengthening and smoothing out the exhale, allowing the air to flow back in on the inhale. That's good. And as you allow your mind and your body to settle, you can just set a clear intent inside, a goal for yourself that you'd really like to enjoy deeper, more restful, peaceful sleep at night. And you can take some time now to really connect with that intent within you that you'd like to enjoy deeper, more restful, peaceful sleep at night. And that this is going to be a really helpful change for you to make in yourself. Deeper, more restful, peaceful sleep at night. Sleeping through the night and waking up refreshed in the morning. And I don't know if that change is going to happen right away. It might be that the awakenings you are having become less and less frequent of a period of a few weeks, or it might be that the awakenings become briefer and less and less intense as they gradually fade away. And as you move on from that pattern of inappropriate awakenings, but I do know that your unconscious mind is listening to these words. And I know you're responding to these words at a deeper than conscious level. And when a person takes time out to truly deeply relax with a clear goal in mind to enjoy deeper, more restful, peaceful sleep at night, then all kinds of inner adjustments can begin to take place all by themselves as the thought patterns and the emotional patterns and the sleep patterns of that person start to change bit by bit in all kinds of helpful ways. And even as I've been talking, you may have noticed how that body has been responding all by itself. You may notice how those facial muscles have begun to soften. You may notice how the shoulder muscles have begun to loosen. And perhaps there's a comfortable heaviness flowing through the arms and hands, a comfortable heaviness that can spread through the legs and feet. One of the curious things about this state is that on one level you can experience one thing and on another level you can experience something else. On one level you can experience a growing heaviness and stillness, and on another level you might notice a floating, dreamy lightness right now, or over the course of the next few minutes. Heavy and light on one level 
you can be aware that you're listening to these words and on another level you can forget all about the words as you float deeper and deeper into this growing sense of comfort within and as all parts of that body and that mind relax deeper and deeper at their own rate and speed that's it but you can notice how on one level there's a part of your mind that sometimes thinks it needs to get ready for exercise a part of you that sometimes thinks there's an emergency and that's a profoundly useful part to have a protective part of you that gets you ready for action when you need to and even though it's been doing that at an inappropriate time it's really only been trying to protect you a deep primal protective urge within you but at another level there's a part of you that knows the importance of sleep another deep primal urge within you within each cell in that body to be able to sleep deeply restfully and peacefully at night so that your body can heal at a deep physiological level so that your mind can process all the learnings of the day in a way that allows you to wake up in the morning refreshed, clear-headed, with a sense that you slept really well, and that's a deep primal instinct, that's an integral part of your biology, the instinct to be able to sleep deeply each night, you can unconsciously reconnect with more and more over the days and weeks ahead. And in a curiously serene and dreamlike manner, you can calmly find yourself watching a you in the past, a slightly younger you who was waking up at night, having that old inappropriate exercise response, dreaming now of calmly watching a you in the past, who was waking up in the middle of the night. And as you see the face of that you over there, whose heart was pounding, whose mind was racing, a you who was having that unpleasant experience, I'd like you to really notice a sense of calm compassion, the same way you might feel if someone you really loved and cared for was in that same kind of distress. The feeling of really wanting to help that you over there. To be able to be free from that pattern. So that they can sleep calmly again. And it's time now to change that pattern as you prepare to dream things backwards, dreaming a whole night's sleep backwards, in reverse. One of those nights where you are awoken by the inappropriate exercise response, that's it. Noticing a memory coming to mind. As you begin to dream the whole night in reverse right now, from the time you got up in the morning, back through the night, dreaming backwards, sleeping backwards, images flickering back and back, having that inappropriate exercise response backwards. 
time washing back, back and back, processing that memory through a different part of your brain, letting go of that old pattern, that's it. Right back until the time we're just getting ready for bed. Notice how that memory now instantly becomes more de detached when you think of it, as your unconscious mind lets go of what it needs to let go of, flushing out that old inappropriate pattern, so the protective part of you only does its job when it's really needed, and the sleep instinct within you can do its job properly too. You can find that all the memories of those times when you were having those old awakenings are becoming steadily more distant, more detached, like a distant chapter of your life. And right now you can begin to see a you who is much calmer now, a you who goes to bed and calmly, restfully, deeply, peacefully sleeps through the night, night after night, that deep sleep instinct within you, doing its job, that's it, a release happening inside. A shift, an integration of profound new learning. And you can begin to connect now with the reality of what it'll be like a year from now. When you've been sleeping so deeply night after night. And a year from now, it'll be a long time since you were listening to me speaking these words. Twelve whole months will have passed, four seasons of your life, and that old period of disrupted sleep will seem even longer ago, now that this deep, primal instinct for sleep and rest has been free to do its job properly night after night, after, over all of these weeks and months, looking back from here in this future time, that's it, and absorbing the reality of this future time, right now. Listen to this session often and experience deeper, more restful, peaceful sleep at night each time that you do. For now, you can begin to feel more alert and refreshed if that's appropriate. That's it. Prepare to come all the way back with this real sense of a good feeling by noticing the position of your body and the sensation of whatever it is you're resting on then whenever you're ready and if it's an appropriate time to do so have a nice stretch and open your eyes or have a nice peaceful restful sleep if that's what you're doing